Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I vlog daily to keep you updated on the real life situation in my country as this awful war continues but I'm sure we will win and if you're new to the channel please subscribe because I believe the world needs to know more about Ukraine. Today many Orthodox celebrate Christmas and I have decided to take you on excursion to our Central Orthodox Cathedral. Actually it also had Christmas service on the 25th of December and my family chose to celebrate on the 25th but still this is a special day the 7th of January. Many of you wanted to look inside of uh, Orthodox churches so I will take you on a small excursion but remember I will not be talking there as people are praying, thinking about their important wishes and uh, show their gratitude so perhaps it's not the place to talk a lot so I will remain silent but I think many of the things you will understand the cathedral is under reconstruction as long as I remember myself but perhaps it's pretty difficult it has 300 years of history and it looks pretty beautiful it is named after in the honor of Saint Trinity and also on its territory there is a women's cathedral I will show you in. I am personally a fan of that women's cathedral because it's really honest and like you know in church there is also some politics and other other things but in that monastery nothing at all you don't have to pay money for candles for somebody to pray for health or whatever they follow the strict rules and I respect them uh, greatly so right now I will take you to the cathedral and later to the monastery the carols broadcast outside and snowy Orthodox Christmas but to tell you the truth the majority of my friends celebrated on the 25th already These are photos of Ukrainian heroes who died protecting Ukraine. And there are many of them. 
we will never forget. These are old icons and the cathedral is under reconstruction, as long as I remember myself. And this is the territory around the cathedral because it is really big. Close to it is a women's monastery and I like it and it's touched even more because it's more old and I'd say more traditional as for me. You see the windows are old style. I will check if it's open. This is my favorite monastery. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this silent improvised excursion. But of course, this is a different style of architecture, decoration, and most importantly, you can guess what all people of Ukraine are praying for. That is for peace, but of course, only our only after our victory. Thank you so much for your support that you demonstrate to our country. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons, but most importantly, thank you for being with Ukraine in this difficult but important and I'm sure winning times. Slava Ukraini!